Hello, hello. How are we today? Good morning, at least this morning here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a 12 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. And I've been wanting to do these colors for a really long time. They're completely different than what I've ever done before. I have no idea if it's going to work at all. And um, so we're going to do this together. And I'm really um, hoping that it works out. And I'm going to try something, you know, very different than I've ever done before. And um, I don't know, we'll just see if it, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, um, but we'll give it a try. My colors are um, some of the colors that I've been doing, the golds and a white, but I've actually added black. And I'm not quite sure how that's even going to work out. Um, but I want, but I, but I really want to see a black and kind of a white and a gold bloom where, um, the black is more dominant and we can get some cells, uh, or lacing, if you will, in the black so that the black carries off as the petals and then the other colors are on top of it. So I'm actually going to add the black first and see if that happens. And if that doesn't, then then maybe I have to add the gold first. I don't know, maybe I'll change my mind by the time I get down to the canvas. I have to think about that for a minute now. So anyway, I'm going to get you down to the canvas. We're gonna make a mess. I'll show you my colors. They're kind of repetitive, but that's okay. I just wanna use them up. And I made a fresh uh, cell activator today and I'm doing uh, four to one with the Aussie Floetrol and um, the Oxide Black by Amsterdam. My pillow, is the Multi Pro um, PPG, Multi Pro interior, and I do the eggshell. So let's get you down. I'm gonna have a swig of my coffee and uh, show you my colors, and we'll be right there. Mm. I just love coffee. I wish I could drink it all day long, but I can't because it doesn't like me that much. <clears throat> Excuse me, I like it way more than it likes me. Um, and I don't sleep well at night, as some of you know, and um, that would not be good for me. So the first one is my black, and it's just the Artist Loft um, Ivory Black. It's um, straight out of the tube. I didn't do, sorry, I bumped the tripod here. Uh, straight out of the tube. Uh, it's a pretty black, and made it up nice and fresh. So let's hope that goes well. Um, I know it's going to go well, but go well as in working. So, um, because these colors are wonderful together. This is the Amazing Yumalicious TLP Harvest Gold. And I'm going to be pouring a lot of that on there because I really want to see a lot of gold. This one here is just simply white with the golden... Um, iridescent pearl fine that's all that is and then this one here is the Amsterdam gold deep gold and that definitely is going to go on last so let's do it okay so now um, I want to make sure you're in focus there and you are, let me just turn you this way too. I just want to make sure that because, um, actually I'm going to pull you back just a little tiny bit. How's that? There, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we'll go this way again, just to make sure. And you're in focus. Okay. So, oh, let me take my rings off. Hard to get paint out of those. All right, so do I want to start with the black? I do not know. Um, I think I'm going to start. I think I am. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to start with the with the black, and we're going to go. I want three. And I want them to cascade over my spinning deconstructed. So um, not worried about negative space, not worried about 
whether I get it or not, I don't care. I just want to see if this color palette will even work. So now I'm going to, I don't think I'll do the white because that might end up turning it maybe a little bit gray, which it's probably going to do so anyway. So let's pour on the TLP because this stuff here is so great. And I just would like to say thank you um, to all my subscribers. I have reached a thousand and I, um, I'm in shock to be perfectly honest. Um, I was hoping for like 50 and I'm telling you, this has been quite the journey for me. Um, I'm loving every minute of it and I am loving the support and the wonderful comments. Um, I just can't thank you enough. It has just been so wonderful. And I mean, just so wonderful. And so um, I just want to thank all of you so, so much um, for allowing me in your home and uh, following me on my journey. And it's just, it's been a lot of fun. Scary, but it's been a lot of fun. So let's pop these little babies here and um, we're going to do the Amsterdam gold right in the middle and then I'm going to kind of swirl around. Okay. And then for my fan um, this time, I think I'm going to do it low, uh, low or medium low and see what happens. And it's still going to be the cool air. And um, I just want to be able to kind of have a little bit more control and push some of the cells out and see what happens there. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. Okay, so it did come up a little bit gray, which I knew it was going to do that, but I didn't think it'd do it that much. But, you know, it's still pretty. It's not what I was looking for. But um, let's start with the TLP first and see what happens and then do the black on top of that one. And then, um, let's see here, maybe, yeah, let's just do that. We'll do a TLP here. And then I think I'll do my black. And because it's pulling gray, I don't want to add the white over that. So I think what I'll do is do the Amsterdam gold over that. Then I'm going to do my white. And then my gold again. We'll see. I probably won't remember that. TLP, black, 
Amsterdam, white Amsterdam. Okay. Okay, now I did hit the pillow there, but there were some cells, and that's and I hit that because I wanted that lacing. I actually kind of wanted that lacing all the way around, so maybe I should have just hit the pillow all the way around. But we'll see what happens once these all set up in the center. The cells are really pretty. Um, so I'm not getting the black that I wanted, but... Um, I don't think it's scrape worthy yet. Um, I think, it, I think it's quite pretty. I'm going to try and follow suit here and do the same that I did for the, um, this last one. So we'll go with the TLP and the black. And then my Amsterdam. They're actually selling up kind of silvery. Ooh, it's really kind of pretty. So. Okay. Oh, spilled. All right, here we go. Okay, so, um, okay, I'm kind of bummed that I didn't get the black that I wanted, but I'm not going to scrape it because it is quite pretty. Um, this needs to come up. These are coming up great. Um, sometimes you go after something and, you know, I'm still learning as I go and you don't achieve it. So I'll have to do some more research and figure out why the black didn't uh, take over, which I, that's what I wanted. So maybe I put it in the wrong uh, layering. Maybe I should have used a different black. I don't know, but I will be doing some investigating to see. So um, yeah, let's let that set up a little bit. These are setting up great. They're really quite pretty. I'm going to take you down in a moment though and show you um, how pretty they are before we spin them out. So, um, yeah, let's do that in just a couple of seconds. Well, there we are. That's the first bloom. Cells are really pretty. There's the second bloom. And then here is the third. And you can see the gold. You can see the gold shimmering in there. 
So when we spin this out and finish it up, hopefully some of that gold will really, really, really shine through. I'm hoping anyway. So, okay, let's pop you back in. And once again, make sure you're in focus. Okay, there we are. All right, I'm just going to do one thing. Come over here, do that, and then check to make sure you are. Okay, so let's spin. Um, forgot to do this, sorry. Let me just do this quickly. I definitely have enough paint on here, so I don't need to add more. Um, just get this to run off the edge a little bit. And I'll just pick some of this up. It's going to, it's going to go. I know it. Okay, here we go. We're just going to do a gentle one. I love my new mat. Um, I said it on a different video, but I just love my new mat, and I did cut it. I used um, an X-Acto knife, and I cut it, and um, yeah, it turned out great. It's not fraying at all. Um, paint just comes up like there's no tomorrow. Um, it took a while because my table is quite large. Um, my table, is, I, when I had it designed, I wanted it uh, 48 by 48 so that I could put a lot of paintings underneath my table. I have three shelves and I use that as my drawing area. And um, it definitely, um, I was really excited to see that they had, um, theirs is 48 by 60, I want to say. It's either 48 by 60 or 40 by, six, 40 by 60, I don't remember. But anyway, um, yeah, it's 48. That's right, because I only had to cut the one side and or, um, to uh, piece it together. So yes, um, very, very, very much loving it. Um, and I, I have to say, you know, man, oh man, I don't know who does the um, shipping, but it is like in a blink of an eye and it's here. I don't know. Um, Whatever they have going on, man, they need to keep it up because it is like crazy fast. Okay, so anyway, here we are. I absolutely love this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I feel like, um, oopsies, I gotta fill this in here, I'm sorry. Um, I have to do it as I see it. Otherwise, it's not gonna get covered and then I might miss it. Um, I have a feeling that there's too much paint on here, and I may have to spin again. I know I'll have to spin again. Uh, maybe just a little baby one, actually. Oh, it's really pretty. Um, not what I wanted, but um, I'm not going to complain. It's definitely um, not a scraper. So let's just do this little tiny bit, just to kind of finish off a few little spots here and there and just to make sure that a good amount of that paint is off. Um, drying has been an issue for me lately because the air conditioning has been on so I have a heater in my room and um, yeah I can see some paint coming off so that's wonderful. Oh it is so pretty. Yes, there was a lot of paint there. You can see it dripping off, cascading off the edges there. I'm going to just fill that in because that ended up staying white. And it still stayed white. So let's do this. Let me just drizzle a little bit of that on there just to kind of break up that silly white corner there. This one can stay white. as well as that one. And this one is white as well. So I think I'll just break that up a little bit. There we go. 
Okay, so I think, let's see, which way do I like the composition? I think I like it like this. I think it looks really good and I love the colors. If you have any ideas for me on how to uh, incorporate the black in there more so that I can actually see black in the petals, um, I would love to hear what you have to say. Otherwise, I'm going to go, you know, back to the drawing board and figure it out. So let me take you down, give you a close up, let you see it, the results, and we are good to go. All right. There is the first bloom, very pretty. A lot of gold action going on in there, which I love. And you can actually see the difference between the TLP and the um, Amsterdam. Um, they have a definite uh, different hue of gold, which is really fun. There's the center bloom. Cells still look really cute. They stayed intact pretty well. Uh, there's the top bloom up there. Lots of gold action going on the edges. Love it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all enjoy yourselves, and I hope you get to all make a mess today with painting. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And until next time, bye.